Hi Pisces, welcome to your mid to late February energy check-in for love and relationships. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Pisces, let's check in. This could be you, could be a person that's around you. For my cross watchers, this may be a Pisces that you're interested in. Feel free to, uh, to swap out the energies, it is a general reading. And if this isn't the reading today, Pisces, feel free to check out your other sign placements here on the channel for messages that may be there for you. So Pisces, let's take a look here. An energy check for Pisces love and relationships for mid to late February going into March 2023. All right. If at any time during the reading you're enjoying it or getting something out of it, then please do me a big favor, Pisces, and press that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it if you would do that, guys. Thank you in advance. To my regulars, if you would do that now, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on. Pisces, love and relationships. We'll get a couple of oracle cards. Firstly, let's get uh, your energy. Now, as I said, uh, feel free to swap out the energies. You'll know who's who. Pisces, what is Pisces energy for mid to late February going into March? The energy around water sign Pisces. Oh dear. Uh, we've got some incompatibility happening here. Uh, separation, not seeing eye to eye. And let's look at the other person and their energy mid to late February. Mm. Gosh, yeah. You know, all I'm picking up around them is tiredness. For some reason. Uh, there may even be a health issue around this person. Uh, needing to get some sleep. Exhaustion. Yeah. And this may be the reason why the two of you are uh, not able to come together at, the, at this point in time. It could be something to do with, with this person not having a lot of energy or energy to give to the connection. But let's see where this is going. Uh, use a coffee cup oracle. I'll wait for one to pop out, so bear with me here. Let's get the connecting energy between these two. For Pisces, for mid to late February, what, is, what connects these two, Spirit? Mid to late February. Hmm. I'm getting an energy around the feminine here that they're, that they're the ones that are not really seeing this as anything that's going to go anywhere. Um, maybe because of the inactivity of this, this other person. Let's see. What, is the, what connects these two, Spirit? What is the connecting energy for this reading? For Pisces, mid to late February going into March mid to late February what connects these two spirit what connects these two oh okay there's a lot there but you know what I'm just gonna take um, I'm just gonna take the first one what I'm getting around that is a this this person who is sleeping over here is gonna get a big shock a surprise hmm okay let's see where that is going in the past, yeah, Seven of Pentacles, it seems like this has been something that's been slowly evolving over a long period of time. And one person here, could be you, Pisces, could be the other way around. I'm picking it up as the more feminine energy here, however that resonates with you. Has been patient, waiting to see what would happen here with this person. But with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, I feel that this is the surprise that's, that's coming in, Pisces. There is a surprise. Okay. It could be, I'm picking it up as a third party. Hmm, okay. The energy around the feminine, Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. I feel that this is the, this feminine energy that I'm picking up that's, it feels like giving up, guys. Uh, it, it does, uh, yeah, I get giving up on this particular person. The masculine energy, strength in reverse. Yeah, there's something here that I'm picking up around this energy of like an ailment, that they're ailing, that they're not well. 
or they're not feeling their best or there's some kind of lack of energy a lack of motivation a lack of direction they sleep a lot uh, they may nap a lot and I get that they've napped through this connection they've slept on it the feminine is giving up on this because you know why bother uh, that kind of thing now let's look at the uh, strength the Emperor in reverse well hmm. the strength is <laughs> well spirit is giving you a message here if you're the feminine that this masculine energy doesn't have the strength they don't have the strength and therefore they may actually act out in ways that are detrimental to any kind of connection why because they, they, they they're not happy with themselves they're not happy with their, their, their life they're not happy with uh, how they are feeling or possibly how they're looking and I get that this person is somewhat angry um, they, they have a lot of pent-up anger that can come out uh, it's weak weak character I get uh, this person has a weak character hmm. gosh guys it's not looking too good is it so uh, Pisces the challenge here is temperance hmm. I feel like this person has some kind of uh, volatile temper volatility I think that you've, you've, you've gotten involved with somebody here you've been patient with them you've waited to see where it goes but they have shown signs of aggression a temper okay now the hope here is the page of wands mm. well this is more of the feminine energy I feel it can be male or female but I'm picking it up as feminine energy around this page and this this is this is youthful vitality no matter what your age this is still having a lot of a curiosity about life the world learning and wanting to try new things and there's this masculine energy over here just rather sleep <laughs> oh gosh mm. the fear is the knight of pentacles in the upright I feel this is this third party guys I'm picking that up as the third party I feel like there's somebody else that could come in and snatch up this this feminine energy from under while this person is sleeping and they're going to get quite a surprise a shock the goal the world in reverse mm. yeah I get delayed this this I get this the more masculine energy but you know feel free to swap this out there's a I'll do it later kind of energy what you know oh, gosh how long do you have to wait to the thing is I think you've waited you've waited and waited and waited for this person they, they haven't acted so how long do they expect you to wait around for them if you're the feminine energy here I don't think that you can I don't think I think that you've reached the end of that with this ten of wands in reverse what's being avoided here the ten of swords okay I feel like this masculine energy needs to do to get up and do something about their life I feel like they ne they need to make some major changes they're obviously not happy that's clear they've got some kind of anger issue I get it this person has a chip on their shoulder quite a difficult person to deal with has anger issues and yet they're avoiding 
they're avoiding making the changes they're avoiding ending things in their life that that need to end okay in the environment we've got the two of swords you know get this person denying what they need to do I get that you text each other a lot there is communication but you don't actually I don't think that you're actually physically with this person very often it's very unsatisfying guys very unsatisfying for the feminine I feel it suits this masculine energy I feel that they want you when they want you but the, it's very inconsistent this person is an inconsistent person they lack drive you know take that what you will as well there's definitely a lot of incompatibility here other people five of wands in reverse yeah I feel like you've got other people involved if you're the feminine energy here there's other people that are interested in you and this person is one of them but there seems to be a big disconnect in, in your energies an action to be taken we've got the seven of swords in the reverse yeah I think that um, if you're the feminine energy here you may be thinking gosh I've made a mistake here getting involved with this person for some of you, you, you you're even starting to think that oh gosh guys I'm it's uh, look I am getting like a cheating energy here now take that as it will uh, for some of you okay yeah yeah there could be somebody here that that's cheating on this person that's that's sleeping with this third party but for others of you I get a sense here that the two of you are not in a committed partnership or you're not you're not exclusive so it's you know it's not really cheating that 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 kind of thing but you mm, yeah I'll move on from that yeah what's hidden here is the seven of cups I feel that there are other op there are other options you don't have this is not your only choice Pisces this is not your only choice oh gosh guys we'll have to see where this goes in the extended reading I'll be turning this over uh, looking at the outcome card going much further in detail so if this is your story Pisces please do join me there the link is down below in the descriptions box it'll be about a 25 to 30 minute reading if you prefer a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store the link is in the box below and purchase there please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button guys share me on your social media if you know uh, Pisces that this will resonate with and if you're a newcomer I'd love to have you subscribe let's get a card from the wisdom of the Oracle on this reading message for Pisces what does Pisces need to hear Treasure Island interesting it's card number nine <coughs> yeah it's um it's very cancerian energy for some of you you you, uh, you may have a, you may be dealing with a cancer or you yourself have cancer in your chart Someone's going to get a rude shock. It's like, it's like this masculine energy was looking at this this feminine as someone that they could have a uh, get to prosperity with. I feel it's all about money, guys, prosperity. But there's nothing else. I, I feel like you, you have nothing else in common you've been waiting around for this person they don't seem to be making any move to you they're thinking that you're their you're their treasure their discovery they're not making any move which is bizarre to me but I feel it has something to do with an ailment 
um, could be old age, it could be uh, problems in the bedroom, it, uh, something that they're denying. And they fantasize about a life with, with the feminine. They do. But they don't actually do things about it. I feel like this person has some pretty bad anger issues as well. And I feel for the feminine here this was a mistake. I'm getting an energy of the feminine feels that this was a mistake to get involved with this person. And there's going to be some news here that comes out. Something that is very surprising. I think that this person is going to be surprised by the fact that the feminine has um, somebody else around them and they, and they may even be surprised at who it is as well. I get more of a younger energy. So let's continue here. We'll look at this. We'll turn over the outcome card, go much further in detail. I'll be clarifying using the after tarot. So if this is your story, please do join me. The link is down below in the descriptions box. Pisces, I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in part two or I'll speak to you again very soon. Please take care.